Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ash here, and we are back with another episode here on Cosmic Sky. I'm going to be live streaming over on my Twitch as soon as this video gets uploaded. So if you'd like to come over to the live stream, say hi. Maybe win a rank five. That is there. Um, I do have a couple of days off work, so there'll be another video tomorrow. We'll be doing daily uploads for a couple of days, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. This is a shorter video. I do apologize for that, but the next video will be a little bit better. Um, I just didn't have much time, so I woke up really late today, and I and I want to stream. Um, I did promise two streams today, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, thank you for watching the videos. Hope you enjoy, and um, yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's episode. We're a little bit far behind, uh, to be honest. Um, IS top wise, we are thirteenth. I mean, we're not a million miles off the uh, off the leaderboards, but um, yeah, we are a little bit a little bit off. Um, we've kind of done all our trophy challenges apart from this one. Um, people are putting some some skelly spawners towards it. I don't know how many skelly spawners we've got. Uh, we've got enough to redeem it for it if we wanted, I guess. But I guess we're just making sure that we've kept it infinite. Um, and just depositing the ones that aren't infinite. So yeah, we're doing all right. Um, I don't know how we're quite a way off to be honest with you. Um. It is a little bit of a mystery. I mean, the only thing we haven't been doing is bosses, which I assume the top islands are doing bosses. So that's where they're getting their trophy points from. But as far as the other guys, I think they're just getting trophies from treasures. Um, so we have implemented an island tax. Uh, well, I didn't implement it, but I was outvoted. So we've got a, we've got an island tax. So I guess we can spend the money on buying these treasures and hoping we get some of the some of the points from them. So that's kind of our uh, kind of our goal, I guess. How do you get the treasure? You get the treasure just from farming. So I think that's where we're behind at the moment. So hopefully now we've got some money. I don't know how much money we've got in Ice Bank. Um We have got we've got five mil in Ice Bank. So I mean I could buy some now. Don't know if it's that worth buying them or not, but we've got nothing else to spend money on, so it might be worth buying a few. That's what the top islands are doing. So we're gonna get up there and it might be worth. And that one's 350k. That's probably worth doing. I don't think anyone will miss 150k if I steal it from the island. I think we got the money for that. So I'll buy that one. Um, and then, yeah, we've just got to keep buying these if we can. If we see them at a good price. 350 isn't bad. I mean, you get the mining bot upgrades as well from the mining one. So the mining one's actually pretty worth going for. Um, most people that have opened these have got the... I've got the redstone toolboxes. I mean, as you can see, the redstone toolbox is pretty, yeah, pretty dominant in the in in the in the list. But um, you know, they're still kind of worth going for, I guess. We have implemented attacks on our island because there was a lot of people that were like kind of slacking. Now I'm up to sixty two now. Or oh, is it worth just like stealing thirteen spawners? Will Cat notice thirteen spawners gone missing? I kind of feel like she won't. <laughs> I feel like she won't. She's got zombies to grind. Well, you know. I might do it. I think it's worth getting that extra trophy. I mean, I could buy some from AH, but I imagine you've bought all the cheap ones if that's what you've done. I feel like that won't be missed. <laughs> and, I mean, every single time you do one of these trophy challenges, it's an extra... um. There we go. Beetroot seeds. That's quite easy to do. Accumulates two trophy points an hour. That's really good. So it's not even just one trophy point an hour. It's two trophy points an hour. That's worth it. Do we have beetroot seeds? That's the question. I don't think we've even unlocked beetroot, but beetroot seeds are pretty easy to get if we get into the iron adventure. We do have beetroot. Do we have any beetroot seeds then, I wonder? Hmm. Because that next one is really worth going into. Do you want me to do it? I could get them. I thought Ollie was just about to get them. I need 16, right? 16 more seeds. And let's see, that should be all our trophy challenges, I think. Nice, no trophy challenges available. Perfect, that's worth doing. We probably should have tried to do that a little bit faster. But um, that's an extra two trophy points an hour. So that is really good. I mean, that's an extra 50 trophy points a day. That's pretty solid. I mean, that will catch us up. Best method for XP at the moment, you just started your island. If you've just started, there isn't too much you can do. Um, 
your best bet is trying to buy like some spawners and grind spawners if you want island xp it's really hard playing as a solo though your best bet is maybe to try and get some automation up um because yeah it is tough as a solo i will admit like if you've literally just started you can buy rabbit spawners really cheap and set up rabbits and slowly progress through the stayer levels because you're going to need to stay rabbits anyway to progress through the stayer levels but how we're making most of our xp is from is from slaying so that's how it is i might save some zombies so i feel like slaying zombies is worth it i mean xp is completely tanked in price like this is why we it really the people who have no life the game from the start have a huge advantage um, because XP is now $2.5 per, and it used to be $6 per. It was $6 per, then it was $4 per, now it's $2.5 per. So, like, the amount of money that you make from slaying has really gone down. Um, but I might do some slaying because I have nothing better to do. We don't have that many swords. Um, we did have a tumble sword, so I don't know where they've gone. I mean, it's not seem pretty bad, to be honest with you. Like, they don't seem that good, but I'll roll it for content. You never know what we could get. I could get slot scraps from the slot. That would be terrible. Two cow spawners. Well, I mean, it could have been something worse, I guess. How much are cow spawners worth now? Are they? Uh, I bet they're still not worth 40k each. I bet they've plummeted in value. Or are they still worth 40k? Damn, they actually are still worth 40k each, a spawner. That's not bad. How much is um? How much are other spawners going for? Because at the moment, grinding spawners is just meta because of how expensive they are. How much are spiders now? Spiders have gone down, but still 60k a spawn is not bad. Zombie spawners are down at 40k. Not bad though. I mean, it could have been worse. A slot's worth like 200k. So we only lost about 100k from that slot. So it could be worse. I want to test out how good Reforged is though. Does it just never break? It's fixing itself. Does it, does it genuinely just fix itself faster than it breaks? Damn, Reforged is insane. It looks like it does. Okay, that's pretty beast. Like, if we can snipe them at a good price, it'd be better, but... I think that's worth it. Because you can get, like, decent... You can get the, um, the mining bot upgrades from them, and they give you a chance of double scraps, and they're actually really good. Because I, I opened one and found one. They give you extra island XP as well, which is good. Less required fuel and the chance of double scraps, which is the main thing. The chance to get something good out of them is like 1 in 10, though. So basically you're paying 4 mil for one of the good items. Because you do just quite often get these residential boxes. But, you know, 4 mil. It's what it is, you know. It's it's not terrible. Yeah, we've, uh, we've made decent progress. I mean, I've made good money this stream. I've just been grinding zombies for about an hour. Um... We've got spawners as well, which are good. I don't really know if we need that many more spawner shards, but they're there if we need them. I mean, I don't think we need any more zombie spawners. Our zombie setup, which is very complicated and I don't understand, but it does seem to split them between these two chunks, so it does seem to work quite well. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it as long as it works. <laughs> and we've got our skelly grinders being set up as well. So we're doing pretty well. We've got a few things people to grind. We've obviously got the spiders still, if anyone really wanted to grind them. They're only really good for XP, though. But that's that's still somewhat good. I mean, at the moment, most of the money you get from grinding is in spawners. Um, cause spawners are still an insane, insane price. But yeah, I'll try and get... um, I'll try and get some island members to... uh. And maybe buy some more treasures so we can go up on ice top. That's where we need to be, really. And then I'll save my current money. I won't buy any treasures with my own money at the moment because I just want to get an adventure map to try out adventure for the content. But we're not too far off these islands. Um, if we buy a few treasures now, we've now we've maxed out our um, trophy points for this level. We're going to start catching up, which is nice. Um, got another weekly challenge in a couple days, so we can do that as soon as possible to get the points. And um. Yeah, we're a little bit way off the next island level, and it costs a ton of money, so I don't know how worth it is really getting the next island level. 20 mil, it's a lot of money. This one was 10 mil, so... 
yeah, it's going to be a bit of a grind. Yeah, I did buy a treasure at the end of last stream. I saw this for 250k, so I thought that was kind of worth going for. Um, we'll see. I'll probably get nothing good out of it. I probably should get another redstone toolbox. But there's the chance, you know. There's the chance of getting some island point notes. Oh, we got a lucky mask. That's pretty good. That's kind of rare. I don't know how much they're going for. Um... I think it was on for like one point something mil. Yeah, one million. I mean, I'll sell it for I'll sell it for nine hundred fifty k. Not bad. I don't really think we need it for the extra gem break chance. Um, maybe, maybe if we're building god sets, it would be worth. But yeah, profit. I made money from it. Um, I did use island money to buy that, so I will put it back into the island. Obviously, I'm saving up my own money for a second adventure map, so. I'll get that at some point. Are you a high stop, broski? No, we're, we're slacking. We're in 13th, which isn't great. I don't know how the other islands are doing far better than us, to be honest. They must be they must be buying... I don't know if they're just buying up all these treasures that they find or if they're doing bosses. They might be like a level ahead of us. Obviously, we were a little bit late on getting, on getting our highest trophies done for this island level.